What do fancy jackets, car tires and nature documentaries have in common with this tennis ball? Time for some tennis ball facts. First up, fancy jackets. The fuzz on this tennis ball is called Melton, a special felt that's commonly used in high-end English hunting jackets. But on a tennis ball, the fuzz isn't just for looks. It creates drag, which slows down the ball. It controls its spin and affects its bounce. Without it, tennis balls would fly away too fast and tennis matches would just be absolute chaos. Next up, car tires. Tennis balls are made from vulcanized rubber, the same type of rubber used in tires. This rubber is waterproof, moldable, and gives tennis balls the perfect bounce. And it was invented by a guy called Charles Goodyear. Yep, the guy whose name is now on all of your tires. And finally, nature documentaries. Tennis balls weren't always this iconic yellow green. For over a hundred years, they were black or white. But in the 1970s, color TV changed everything. White balls were just too hard to track on these new Technicolor TVs. So researchers created optic yellow, a color proven to be easier to see against the court. And it was a young BBC tennis fan named David Attenborough who pushed for this change while introducing color TV to Britain. Yep, that legendary nature documentarian, Sir David Attenborough. So tennis balls aren't just for smash and aces, they're a mashup of fashion, chemistry, engineering, and science. Who knew?